Da thunder. I'm a pretty lady. That's what Tails says whenever he like. That's what we feel like whenever Tails says in the Sonic OVA when he's like afraid of lightning or whatever. But anyway, hello there, everybody. This is Siwat the Plan One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. So last time we got the majority of the tiers of light in Lene Province, and there's only one more left. One more, and we can finally get rid of the Twilight for good. And it's right over there. So all we really need to do is to swim over there and see what we have here to deal with for our last tier. And of course, judging from the last episode, it looks mighty big, don't you think? Looks mighty big indeed. Alright everybody, this is our last tier of light, and it's coming from the Twilight Bloat. So anyway, what you need to do is, when it gets near you, use your jump attack thing to bite off it continuously, and that's pretty much all you do. But really, that's not all you have to do. When it circles around you like this, make sure you get out of the way when it's farthest from you, and get out of the way really quickly, because, well, it will try to attack you like that. And then you just rather lince, rather lince and repeat this next cycle of sorts. This whole thing is really just sort of a mini boss to get the last tier, and it should be worth two tiers, pretty much like a grand star worthing, pretty much worthing, uh, worthing, pretty much being worth uh, one star in Mario Galaxy, both Mario Galaxies actually. Anyway, now he's gonna do that, and we what? What the heck just happened? Maybe I have to get him with my B attack? Maybe? No, no, that's not it. He just, like, got lucky with a hit. So, we attack him again, and that should fall him. Or fell him. Whatever the term goes. Anyway, last thing that we have to do is to use our energy attack to chop off its legs. And there we go. That is our last tier. And we can finally say goodbye to the Twilight. Thank God. <laughs> anyway, let's get our last tier. You make sure you get that last few shadow now. <laughs> See you later. My name is Lanayru. Your efforts have at last restored each of us light spirits in Hyrule. O oh, hero chosen by the gods, the dark power that you seek, it waits in the temple set in the bed of Lake Hylia. But before seeking it, you must now bear witness to something. Never forget it. You must know that it was the will of the goddesses that we lock away the forbidden power. When all was chaos, the goddesses descended and gave order and life to the world. 
they granted power equally to all who dwelt within the light, and then returned to the heavens. The lands where the goddesses descended <laughs> and became known as the Sacred Realm. For ages, the people lived at ease, content in mind and body. But soon, word of the Sacred Realm spread through Hyrule, and a great battle ensued. Among those living in the light, interlopers who excelled at magic appeared. Wielding powerful sorcery, they tried to establish dominion over the sacred realm. It was then that the goddesses ordered us three light spirits to intervene. We sealed away the great magic whose individuals had mastered. <laughs> you know this magic. It is the dark power you seek, the few shadow. O oh, hero chosen, chosen by, by the goddesses, goddesses beware. beware. Those who do not know the danger of wielding power will, before long, be ruled by it. Never forget that. Sweet heavenly Jesus, that was scary. Oh man. That was probably like the most dramatic reading I've ever done in like a long time. <laughs> the, the dark, dark power, power that, that you see is, is within, within the, the sleeping, sleeping lake back temple, temple in Lake Hyrule. Hyrule. All right. So, now we learn the true nature of the few shadows. So, let's get out of here. And let us now be lighthearted by the scenery. Oh my god, this looks beautiful. This thing, I tell ya, this looks beautiful. So beautiful. So beautiful. Okay, in all honesty, this is one of the better looking areas in the game. I love Lake Hylia. <laughs> well, in this particular game, anyway. Uh, Not sure about all the other Lake Hylias, or rather, the other Lake Hylia, as I've played in Ocarina of Time, but this! This is probably my favorite Lake Hylia of them all. I love this area. Not only because of the scenery and everything, but the music. I love its music. And it's one that I'm guaranteed I will be having on my music devices for a very, very long time indeed. <laughs> but yeah, we have finally dispelled the twilight, so let's do stuff. Anyway, the first order of business is to get out of here. So, let's actually see. I am a member of the Zora tribe, the proud people who care for Lake Hylia. The other Zoras who are on guard patrol that at the bottom of the lake. Interesting, and I hear wings flapping. What about you, good sir? Oh, a human! I'm Plum. I don't need to talk to humans. Uh, you just did. Mr. Bird. You're no better than that bird thing early on in the game. <laughs> You're no better, sir. Or ma'am. It. I don't know. I, I honestly have no idea what gender Plum is. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, your first time playing through, you're probably going to get stuck here. I know. From experience. I was stuck here for about 
few days until I realized I had to talk to this old fart. Let's see. How about you, old man? Hmm? The Zoras are still alive down there? I thought maybe they dried up along with the lake. Hey, buddy, have you heard? There's like a temple or something at the bottom of this lake. They put up such airs with all their rituals and fancy temple hoo-ha. Then they just disappear. And what's with all the putting all the temples so deep that the humans can't swim down there? I swear those Zoras. Oh, are you a customer? <laughs> uh, hello. That's why I'm here. The height of excitement. The thrill of launching into the heavens. The very peak of flying fantastication. It can be yours, fella, for a limited time only, without waiting in line. It's a paltry 10 rupees. All right, let's do it. Um, there is an option called special repairs, but we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. So, let's just go ahead and go into the cannon in order to be fired. Whoa, we jumped from a thing. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I always like that little sound effect he did. It was like, raw, 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 raw. <laughs> it sounds like Rapple Rapple. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, that reminds me of something. What? Didn't the late queen in Zora's domain ask you to do something? She asked us to find her son, the one who's been missing since he headed for Hyrule Castle. I think she said something about granting you some special power if you rescued him? The final piece of Fuse Shadow is on the bottom of, of Lake Hylia. Then it looks like we're going to need that ability. Yeah, true. We must stay focused on our goal. Nothing will come across our way as useless or pointless. Ooh, cuckoos! Ow. Ooh, cuckoos! Ooh, ooh, must get, must get cuckoos! Ah! <laughs> okay, anyway, this dude, this creepy clown guy, what you got, creepy clown guy? Well, hi there! Welcome to Foul Beast Flight by Foul. Are you ready for a flight filled with dreams and sweet, sweet bonuses? A cuckoo-powered ride around Lake Hylia? You will love it! Next up for that fantastic station, one big guy! Er, just one? Well, that's 20 rupees for a ticket to the Isle of Riches. How about it, partner? True. Let's do it. Just grab a cuckoo of any color and try to sail to the Isle of Riches. Alright, so, this little minigame right here. I like this minigame. <laughs> Basically, what you have to do is you have to grab a cuckoo. If I can kick... Thank you. If I can kick a cuckoo. Thanks! Animal abuse! Grab Peter on this! <laughs> anyway, what we need to do is we need to grab a cuckoo, and we have to sail all the way over to that little island right there. You can choose to pick the other paths if you want, but personally, I just like going in the middle because I am a stupid mother effer. <laughs> because I'm just that great. Anyway, in order, to slow to, in order to speed up your descent, you just put on your iron boots, and you'll fall down much faster. Anyway, let's see. Shadow, shadow. Ha ha! Now! Yes! Yes, sir. I am the greatest ever. And for getting up to the top, we get an orange rupee. That's 100 rupees right there, so that is very, very awesome indeed. But that's not all that we have to get here. If we somehow manage to drop down here... There is going to be a lot more treasure chests here, so let's get one. And one of them contains a piece of heart. So that is very, very nice indeed to take your time out of your day to explore around the place and such. And if we drop down another level, we get ourselves a purple rupee. It's, called, it's not called the Isle of Riches for nothing, that's for sure. Anyway, if we kick open this chest, we get... A red rupee. I don't care if it doesn't fit in my wallet. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it, good sir. And last but not least is a yellow rupee. So all that will be very, very nice indeed. Because we are very, very rich. We are rich mofos. And we will do whatever we can because we are Link and stuff happens. Anyway, now let's continue on our merry little way. Hey, you're back! <laughs> so, fella, I guess you like to ride, huh? Not 
not a bad bit of fantastic station. All right, so we heard all the schlock before, so we're gonna go ahead and skip ahead because this game is the only game in the series that allows you to skip the things automatically without having to do a second try or something. I don't know, but anyway, we got ourselves some real some good crowned crowned. Yeah, we got us some good ground to cover here, so. What do we say? We not waste any more time and go over to Hyrule Castle Town. Actually, not Hyrule Castle Town, really. But, actually, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I don't care if this is a long episode. I hate... <laughs> yeah, again, Twilight Princess is one of those games where you kind of need long videos, not to accentuate you know, the let's play and everything, because you're gonna end up with 100 parts when you when you make your videos, like, Way too short! Which is why I don't like... Which is why I don't like to accentuate the LP to... To like, over 80 parts or whatever. Even though I did a good job with Skyward Sword, I felt it was... I felt it was a, a bit long of an LP than it is. Well, it's not my fault, the game is long. The game is long, so I can't really afford to do anything else... Aside from that. <laughs> Seriously. Whereas this game is much shorter, even though it's much shorter... It can still take a while, so don't be surprised if this extends all the way to like 60 parts or something. And that was weird. He pulled it in like turn around or something. I don't know. I don't know. That aside, we have more ground to cover, so let's do it. Let's go ahead and do it. Anyway, uh, there are two. There is a pair of golden bugs that we can get here. One of them is right there. So, let's go ahead and target this thing, and come on, come on, there we go. Alright, so for this, this is a female butterfly. So, that is very good that we do that, and it's very good that we have to kill this asshole. Because we have to kill assholes. And another golden bug is right over here. So. That's apparently good things to do. I know these golden bug locations because I practice the game. <laughs> Practicing the game is always a good thing if you want to if you want to make an LP as organized as you can. And that is why I'm speedrunning this mofo. That's why I'm speedrunning this mofo. Because even though I like long videos, I don't want to keep you in like longer long videos too much. So anyway, uh now that we have the uh, golden wolf here, let's go ahead and go talk to him. And please, for the love of God, do not mess up your lines, Charlie. I swear to God. We meet again. It appears your efforts have begun to return some vigor to Hyrule, but it is far too early to relax. Do you feel ready to earn another hidden skill to steal yourself against the forthcoming battles against more powerful foes? Indeed! But first, we have to make sure that we have mastered our last skill, the shield attack. So thrust a nunchuck and press 8 or... Whatever. Use your regular attacks. Anyway, the third hidden skill is... The Backslice! Let it be hewn into your mind. Let it be hoened into your mind. <laughs> a mere shield attack is no match for an enemy protected not just by a shield, but by a thick, full-body coat of armor. Such enemies are often focused on guarding against frequent frontal attacks. They often leave their rear unprotected. That is when you Z-target and press A while tilting the control stick left and right to jump and roll around your foe, performing the jump slice. Thanks a lot, asshole. You almost killed me. Oh, wait. Ah, yeah, never mind. Anyway, basically what he's saying is, if we move left and right, we can jump, press A again, and then when the time comes, swing your Wiimote in order to do the backslice. Hmm, you carry yourself well. Do not forget your proper timing when swinging your sword while you jump. Alright, so with that... The third hidden skill is ours! There are still four hidden skills for you to learn. Do not neglect your daily sword training between now and the next time when you learn to next skill. To next skill! God! <laughs> when you learn to next skill... 
I am proud to be known as me. <laughs> All right. So, as the last thing that we're going to do for this video, we are going to go ahead and go to Castle Town. Hey, how's it going? How's it going, dude? How's it going, Mr. Postman? Greetings, Mr. Link. I've come to deliver a letter. There's a letter for you. Two links. Two links in a letter. Onward to mail, because I am dyslexic in words, even though I'm talking better. Alright, so, uh, let's see. Letters! So, let's see. Good stuff inside. H hey, we finally finished up new production on a new type of bomb. These things can be used in water. Sounds pretty interesting. We might as well go ahead and check that out. Open for business. The Linear Tourist Association is preferred a grand tour than of natural splendor. Our current main attraction is Isa and Hannah's Playground for grown-ups. You'll find both immediately down at the riverbank from the Zora Waterfall Pool. Alright, so that sounds like a pretty interesting thing to do. And one of those things I absolutely loathe, so you'll love my rage. <laughs> yeah, you'll love to see me rage whenever we get to that, but we're not getting into that now. We're going to get into that later. We're going to discuss this later. But, anyway. Uh, first things first, we have this guy. This guy, what do you got? Oh, if you would. For the sake of peace in Hyrule, would you make a donation? Sure. So, believe it or not... There is a reward for you for doing this. Trust me, it will be worth it. I'm just showing this right now. So, yeah. Anyway, now let's continue onward to the south road to do the last thing that we have to do. So, you know all those golden bugs that we got? You remember? Do you remember? No? Well, you probably will remember at this point. Because, what are all those things worthy of doing now? Golden bugs. What? What's up with you? Have you some business at Agatha's castle? You don't look like you'd be a friend of their, hers. Of theirs, or hers, what? Okay, so. Anyway. Let's go ahead and enter this little house. Because we enter houses. And we have this little thing in, and hello, sir. Ma'am, how are you? Oh boy, I thought you were a giant grasshopper. Majora's Mask much. <clears throat> but you're not a bug, you're a person. Still, you're wearing those clothes, so that tells me you like bugs too. Oh boy, I forgot the formalities. You have an audience with the Princess of the Bug Kingdom. Agatha is my name. I have invited the 24 golden bugs of the world to the ball, but... I don't know if they got lost on the way or what. But they're not here, that's for sure. If you see them, would you please bring them to Agatha's castle? Tell them the princess awaits. Oh boy, if you have a bug with you now, please give it to me. The ball must begin! Indeed, we must commence this ball of sorts. So, we have all these golden bugs here. We want to turn them into Agatha here, so that the quote-unquote golden bug ball can begin. She has all this little dialogue that that comes with all these different golden bugs and such. I'm not really bothering to show them off, show all of them off, but yeah, I'm just doing this just be just for the sake of showing some form of dialogue, but anyway. If you bring her the insects, the happiness will come in the form of wallet upgrade. So now we can hold up to 600 rupees. So, She's basically asking here if we have brought her a partner. Well, we have indeed brought along with us a partner of the thing. This is why you want to catch each individual little pair of golden bugs. Because if you bring a pair along, each pair you bring along, you'll get a hundred rupees for your troubles. So if you turn in, if you basically turn in the first pair, you will get yourself. Well, after this little dialogue, at least. Little butterfly, little butterfly, I want to be wrapped up in that powder, too. Heh. <laughs> oh no, she has all this w really weird dialogue and such for the bugs, and... I guess it's kind of... It's kind of nice that they have this all this little dialogue thing that she has, but anyway. For the first pair... For the first part of the pair of the golden bugs, we get 50 rupees. 
for the second part of the pair, we get 100 rupees. So for each pair of golden bugs that you turn in, you will effectively receive 150 rupees for each pair. I know you have bugs. Oh god. I probably should have gone the mic closer. Okay, let me try that again. Let me try that again. I know you have bugs. <laughs> oh god. Okay. So we have that in mind. So, that is a thing. Anyway, uh, we're going to stop this episode here now because, well, we're here in Castle Town now and we might as well take a little tour next time. Well, before we get, head back to the uh, usual grind, you know? So, it may be a rather short video, but... Yeah, it's just a short video. I might as well give you guys a break while I'm at it, right, guys? <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, we're going to take a little bit of a tour around Hyrule Castle Town, and hopefully, we are... And hopefully, if it's not that much time, we'll be able to go to... to where Prince Rallis is, because remember... We saw him at the bar right there, so we might as well go ahead and do that after we finished up our business here. So, see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Casper Spy, get out of my face, sir.